Hey, how's it going? In today's video, I'm going to show you how to use Microsoft PowerPoint version 2016. Let's go ahead and get started. So first things first, you'll obviously want to open up PowerPoint on your computer. Then you will want to select a theme. I'm just going to pick one because I'm going to eventually change it soon. Before I go any further, I just want to apologize for any extra noise of the background. Continuing on with this video, so let's say you want to change the design. You just come up to design and you can pick one. But let's say there's a theme that you know exists say on the office um, theme website I will go find that and put a link to it down in the description you can peruse all the themes they have then once you have the one you want downloaded you just save it to your computer then you'll come back into PowerPoint and click this down arrow and then you'll click browse for themes and then find wherever it's at on your computer and then you'll hit apply but I've already done this earlier today and so I applied this theme for this video. I'm going to use this theme because I feel like it. So once you have your theme selected, I'm going to show you how you can modify the master theme or the master slide. You're going to come up to view master and click slide master. So let's say I want to have my name show up at the bottom of every slide. So I'm going to come up to my top slide and I'm going to insert a text box and I'm going to put it down here. You could do this in word art if you want, but I just want to use some simple text. So now if you click on all the other slides, your name is at the bottom, just like that. So next, let's say we, for whatever reason, do not like having the bullet points on all of our slides. So what you'll do, if you want something that, to show up on all the slides, you need to come up to your top slide and I move to a different slide. My apologies, but anyway, the process is the same. So you come up to the top slide um, and turn bulleting off and then it is off on the rest of the slides. Now let's say you want to have an object show up at the top of every slide um, and then have it do something when each slide shows up. So let's say I want to insert maybe a shape in the corner. So I'm going to insert, I'm going to insert a smiley face because <laughs> why not? <laughs> Okay, now see one thing you'll notice if you look over to the left is that it doesn't show up on all the slides Which I have yet to understand. I want to add my animation to it So I'm going to come up and I want him to spin around a bit. There you are Spinner Then I can come up under my effect options and my timing so I'm going to have it start with previous and not gonna have it delay at all. Oh, you know what? I think it. <laughs> I think it does apply to all the themes. <laughs> Let me try a different theme for this. So moving on to my next thing, I want to have each line of my text uh, show up one line at a time when doing animation and stuff. So I'm going to select all of them. I'm going to come back to my animations and I'm gonna pick one. I'm gonna have it fly in. Then I can have it, instead of going from the bottom, I can have it come in from the left. I'm going to come down to text animations because this is the one I want. I want to have it animate on the fifth level, which will mean it does each line uh, separately. But then I also want it to disappear after the previous. So I could have it hide after the animation, which will mean the animation happens and then the text disappears right away. But I'm going to have it hide on the next mouse click um, or arrow button click because then what will happen is the sentence will show up and then once you go to the next point you want to make, then the previous one will disappear. So next we're going to create a sequence of animations. I'm going to stay in the exited slide master. I want to show you how to do some more complicated if for whatever reason you need to do this but instead of boring you with the process I'm just going to do it and then I'll explain it afterwards explain what I did so I'll be back here's what I've done with the animation so to get the shapes I obviously inserted the shapes and then I formatted the color went to shape format and then changed the fill color I have applied a entrance animation for each of these and then for this one to make it do the complete go around i went up to my animations and then selected path animation and then selected draw scribble and just kind of made a circle 
around the circle and then I have it change color after doing that animation. So under effect options, I select after animation and then I select the color I want it to change to. Then I also have it exit after doing this animation and then I added a emphasis effect on the, cir on the circle just by selecting emphasis effect and then for the exit effects that's under here for then lastly the one other thing I want to show you is how to I don't know how to describe it let's say you want to be able to click on something in your slide and something happens so what you're going to do is select the shape you want to have that happen to you're going to right click on it and then you'll click action settings and then here you have a lot of options I'm just going to go under mouse click and you can have it hyperlink to another slide or a file or a URL or another PowerPoint presentation, but we're not going to do that. You can have it run a program or you can have it play a sound when you click on it or when you mouse over it. So I have a click sound. So I'm just going to show you what that looks like. So it all kind of visually makes sense. So I'm going to have it play from start. So our smiley face spins in at the beginning of our slide. The circle spins in. Triangle goes around, turns green and exits. Then we have the emphasis sound and I put a s emphasis effect and I put a sound on that. So now you notice when you hover over it and you get a hand, you can click on it and it makes a sound. And it makes a sound because we added the action setting to it. So anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give it a big thumbs up. Or if you found this video helpful, <laughs> For anything give it a big thumbs up uh, and don't forget to click these red subscribe buttons to subscribe to their respective channels and as always i will see you guys in the next tutorial Bye bye